I think it's one of the great learnings and outcomes of this just immense human tragedy of COVID-19, which we're still climbing out of uh, as a global community here, that we actually can cross collaborate, right? If there's an urgent need and, and especially one that is collectively urgent, there's really no challenge we can't conquer together. I, I think the, um, the opportunity to build upon that awareness, my hope is in our industry, which is a small segment of the broader, you know, therapeutic uh, landscape that we can begin to really harmonize. And I think we're uniquely set up for a few reasons. One, just the under underlying force and power of the CRISPR technology and all the paradigm shifts it's forcing really allow for iteration in multiple directions at once, which is just phenomenally exciting and allows for more and more investigators and their partners to share in the bounty of the, the opportunity here. I also think that the, uh, the bodies that have been set up like catapult, like the cell engine therapy catapult, like CCRM, like CRM in California, which I had a, um, a founding role in those organizations, first of all, are extremely well-funded they're, they have incredibly competent teams in place. They are very connected, not just to the academic biotech research infrastructure all across the globe with a focus on their respective geographies, but also um, really with the patient populations. And so because in our field, patients and process and product are all synonymous with curing disease, hopefully, or at least um, improving significantly a chronic, uh, serious chronic illness, that is really a huge opportunity, right? To, to begin to take what is a, uh, a network orchestration by default or de facto in a market where process is product, um, then begin to trade on best practice and choose some standards, get out the gate quickly, choose some standards to then build upon as a foundation. And I think really it's, is all about show don't tell, right? Once you see the impact of some of those standards begin to actually demonstrate extension of access to patients in a safe and compliant way, of course, then that's just going to really kind of reboot our efforts to continue to standardize, which really will hasten industrialization overall. So I'm excited about taking learnings wherever we can and applying them. And I'm really optimistic about the potential for standardization and harmonization in our field. Mm -hmm.